My name is Tara Numadal, and I'm the author of Anna Ziegelrin and the Lion's Blood, Alchemy and End Times in Reformation Germany. And this book uses the life and ideas of a 16th century German alchemist named Anna Ziegelrin as kind of a window onto the world of the Reformation in Germany and the body and gender and alchemy. I came across Anna Ziegelrin first when I was working on a different book, and I was reading a 19th century history of alchemy. And there was a very brief reference to Anna Ziegelrin that described her essentially as a woman with very bizarre ideas who was kind of a con woman and a fraud and this intrigued me. <laughs> I figured there had to be more to this story. She had an incredibly um, interesting and dynamic life so the book follows her from her birth in Dresden in eastern Germany in the 16th century and follows her path through association with three different princely courts, um, an early marriage, her husband dies very young, a remarriage to another courtier um, where she lands in the middle of a real political crisis at that court, and eventually then her career as an alchemist at a court, in a princely court in Wolfenbüttel, Germany, um, where she catches the attention of the prince and for a time is a practicing alchemist with a laboratory working on a substance called the lion's blood, which was a golden oil that she argued could kind of generate life in all kinds of forms. This was in fact an important part of early modern alchemy, that is this engagement with the idea of generation and the production of life. We think of alchemy as being about production of gold, but actually one of its highest goals was the production of human life, and that's what she's interested in. She ties this into an argument about the end times as well. That is, she claims to be the subject of a prophecy that predicts that she will be the one to use the lion's blood to produce human life within her own body and to produce scores of alchemical babies who will kind of repopulate the earth at the end of time. Alchemy is... Um, a resource for early modern Germans who wanted to think about, about life and nature and the kind of regeneration of nature in the context of the apocalypse. What Anna Ziegler's version of alchemy offers is an opportunity to actually intervene in that process. I also hope to convince my readers that she was not in fact as bizarre as these 19th century scholars um, thought she was. And that in fact, if you take her seriously, you can see her as someone who is really engaging with some of the cutting edge ideas in alchemy in the 16th century.